markets and they're just running an absolute mock in the house. What, what have What have you I been was, doing? Uh, I was doing a bit of my laundry. Yeah. I was, cleaning, I was mopping my whole flooring, <laughs> cleaning the glass windows, these <laughs> windows, as you can see how clean it is right now. <laughs> and cleaning this whole area so my daughter can play here. Crazy. So, yeah. What is the what outside space have you got? Sorry. What outside space have you got? This is this is what I have. This is the balcony I have, and there's one little outside. There's one little space. We are not so lucky as you, where you have your back garden and everything. Yeah. No. 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 We, we're we very, very, we, we are very lucky. As you can see, I'm literally I'm on 29th floor here. So, so let's have a look. Goodness me. Right in the middle of Mumbai, huh? Yes, the city has come to standstill. I cannot hear anything. Goodness! And is that a net because you're practicing your cricket strokes, so or you don't want the balls to fly over the balcony? Yes, you're right. The pigeons, <laughs> the pigeons, they come inside, man. <laughs> they come inside and they poop everywhere, and I have to clean that as well. So I've just made sure there is net covering here, so that they don't they don't come inside. Who's doing the Who's doing the cooking in the house? Who's doing um, all the all the other day to day jobs? We've We've got uh, We've got someone to do the cooking, and my wife is a very good cook. Uh, she does a bit of cooking as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've been on a very uh, uh, on an easy streak. We're not eating anything fancy. Uh, mm. Keeping it very simple and real. What uh, I I trying to remember all my old days. What we used to do during our old days cleaning the house uh, making sure uh, everything is in the house yeah uh, and then uh, yeah a lot of things actually you know i i i now look back at it and i think uh, how our life was hectic i mm. mean all these years uh, mm. you know we've been on the road all the time going yep. from one place to another but now i realize it's so important to spend some time with your family as well and understand uh what goes inside your house yeah you know it's important and now i've got the reality check about you know uh, how important it is to spend time with your loved ones because you know they want us to to be with them yeah uh, it's not easy and i've got a very young kid uh so kind of what are you missing what are you missing most about um about not being out and about definitely playing playing the game that is something that i'm missing a lot and i was injured for last two and a half months so i've been itching to go out and when i got the news that uh, everything is going to be postponed i was i was a little sad i was quite looking forward to go and play the ipl yeah. uh, but yeah again i mean regardless of all that i mean the the safety of the nation the whole world right yeah. now is important and i can see that you know there's been a lot of discipline in the country Uh, mm. watching watching a lot of news as well these days to keep up with the world to see what is happening in india i think you know uh, it's been two days of a lockdown and it's pretty disciplined at the moment except people going for their emergency stuff like buying groceries you know medical uh, services and all that and so far yeah, i mean it's it's crazy here as well man i mean I, i went on a bike ride the other day and you just don't see anybody around there's just nothing you're not allowed to do anything here there's it's it's complete lockdown and it's, i suppose exactly what do you i saw a, a, a picture or a, a message from your wife on instagram there's dolphins in the bay in mumbai is that right yes yeah no man for yes, real it was taken from uh, that that video was taken from an apartment right in front of marine drive which is which is what the first thing i checked well it's a fake video or it's the real yeah. one it is the real one it's right i mean probably 50 50 or 70 meters from the shore crazy and i mean I, I, that's unheard of right yeah it is i mean i i don't i don't know when was the last time we heard of dolphins or any uh, any of animal uh, any of uh, sea creatures coming to the shore of mumbai It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I've seen some pictures actually in Italy, Venice, where the where they've right. seen uh, the before and after pictures. It's crazy how the uh, make maybe nature's just resetting itself here. Yeah, I mean, see, uh, in a hindsight, if you look at the other side, I mean, we we get to know what we've done to the earth. Yeah. And now it's kind of a in a healing process. Mm. It's healing down because I've never seen blue skies in Mumbai. and i can see that right now i mean yeah. look at that i'll show you see my goodness 
That's unbelievable. Exactly. So Jesus. Uh, I mean, yeah, and the pollution and everything has gone down massively. But mm. again, I mean, I don't want to disrespect what is happening uh, in the world right now. Uh, without any disrespect, uh, I know what we are going through. Mm. People are losing lives. Uh, people are battling through this tough period, which is not easy. Which is mm. not an easy fight. Um, so, I mean, I made I made a video the other day as well, th- thanking uh, you know the doctors, the nurses, and everybody. Sure. You know, sure. From, from the ward boy as well. Uh, yeah. You know they're doing a, a incredible job to making in making sure that you know we all are safe and we mm. can just be at our home. Uh, mm. You know, worrying about our family. They they've been worrying about the entire nation because yeah. you, you yeah. see so many cases coming up uh, through the day and things like that. Yeah. So anyway, I, I mean, I was I was meant to be traveling as well in the next couple of days to India because it's obviously RPL season. Correct. Um, what were your expectations for the Mumbai Indians uh, this year? What were you expecting from them? And uh, captaincy, are you enjoying the captaincy? Have you enjoyed the captaincy? Is it something that you're really looking forward to again? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love I love captaining uh, Mumbai Indians. Uh, we've got a great, uh, great bunch of uh, squad. Mm. Everybody who's been part of the team, uh, you know, uh, all these years, in some way or the other, they put their hand up at different situations, which makes my job easier. Or I can say, I look better as a captain. Yeah. When, when you also know you've been a captain yourself. Uh, when your players put their hand up, yeah. it makes your job so easy. Yeah, so, I suppose yeah, you're, I running, you're forward to. We got few new addition to the squad. Uh, you know, we got Chris Lynn, uh, Trent Bolt, uh, you know, Nathan Coulton Nile and a few others as well. So I was quite excited. I was, was going to ask you, who, who's been your best buy? Who would your best buy have been for this season coming up? Who do you think? I mean, if you can chuck those names around there. Coulton Nile's a good one. Chris Lynn. Ben Bolt as well. I mean, with the Bolt. new ball on, on, on a pitch like Wankhede, uh swinging the ball into the right-hander, taking mm-hmm. the ball away from the left-hander. I was quite looking forward to that because I know how much the ball swings uh, in the first few overs at Wankhede. And and there's a bit of extra bounce from uh, the other grounds if you compare it. So, mm. you know, along with Bumrah, uh, it, mm. he would have made a lethal combination. So I was quite looking forward to that. I'm still looking forward to, forward to that. I mean, fingers fingers crossed. Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think the IPL would happen at some stage this year? At some stage, yeah. If things settle down and things get yeah. a little easier, uh, it might happen. I mean, who knows? Yeah. And then right coaching, now, who's just, coaching? Who's coaching you again this year? Mahela. Mahela's still the coach. Yeah. Who's yeah, been your favorite? Who, who's been your favorite coach um, over the years in your whole career? Who's been your favorite coach? Indian coach, Mumbai difficult, Indians. Very difficult to pick one name because they sure. all bring something or the other to the table. Uh, like sure. I, I, I mean, Ricky Ponting to me was was a magic. You know. Yeah. Uh, the way he handled the team. Uh, uh, when he was captain for the first half of the tournament, and then he gave the captaincy to me. Yeah. In the, in the midway through the tournament. Yeah. Uh, and it takes it takes a lot of guts to uh, do that in the middle yeah. of the tournament to leave the captaincy and get someone else to do it. Yeah. You know, uh, I can only imagine him doing that. And you know, after that as well, to be uh, as involved as uh, he was, as, as as he was as a captain. Or yeah. Then, as a, as a, I mean, I would rather say a support staff because he was playing a supporting role to all the players, to all the youngsters in the team, and he was guiding me through the captaincy. And yeah, I got to learn a lot uh, from him. So he was a different uh, 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 ball game altogether. Mahela is very calm. He's very composed, and mm. he, he 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 only tells you to do things uh, that he sees. Is probably right or wrong. I mean, he'll he'll draw a line very quickly and say, "Do not, you know, as a team, we shouldn't be crossing yeah. that line." Yeah. So his messages are very clear, and you know, his. Uh, uh, I I think I I think all players are very very lucky to be able to tap into the overseas um, brains, and and I also think that from the overseas perspective, I'll speak from my perspective as a player coming to India, when yeah. you can understand that 
you can you can have a home ground in India. You can gra- gain a lot of support in India. It makes you feel more comfortable. Have you found it harder as an Indian player to play against foreigners uh, over the last five or six years, with the foreigners being so comfortable in India? Yeah, I mean it's it's actually go, goes both ways because yeah, uh, all our local players, including us, we've we've uh, benefited playing alongside them. Uh, to to know how they think about the game, how they want to prepare, uh, how they prepare against certain individual, and it's the same uh, for them as well. Rubbing shoulders uh, with each other uh, in terms of nationality, you know. Hey, Rohit, 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 Rohit. De Villiers has just come on and said he likes the pictures in my background. He says you need to show a little bit more. They said so you, you you're not showing enough. Mr. De Villiers is on you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Get him on the line as well. I mean, I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to do De Villiers. I don't know how we can get De Villiers onto this. I'm going to do De Villiers. No, he's going. <laughs> it's going to happen. You see, ABD is here. Yes, De Villiers is here. Um, we definitely. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, you're right. You are right. From a, from an overseas perspective and an Indian perspective, it's it's definitely um, it's it's a hundred percent improved the game too. Yeah, it's 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 been. Uh, learning curve for both both nationality, uh, the Indian and the foreign nationals. I mean, they they, they pick up so much, and eventually, uh, you know, uh, you realize that at the end of the tournament, it's sad when the tournament comes to an end. Yeah. Uh, when you see all the players booking their tickets to go back to their country. Yeah. And to know that you won't be playing with them anymore, it's it's a bit of. Uh, I mean, it's sad. But again. What about so, what about um, sledging? And I mean, I know that. Um, India uh, historically isn't a country where you go to and you get sledged. I mean, you guys don't need to sledge there. The wicked sledge us enough. They spin <laughs> and bounce and turn and do what they need to do. But it's, I found it also became increasingly hard to become so friendly with people and then go and play in an Ashes series and start abusing guys who you spend so many months of the year with uh, um, playing together. It's, it's, it's changed the game from that perspective as well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has a lot. I mean, traditionally, if you, I mean, you know, uh, the team, Indian team, much better than anyone else. I mean, we don't, we don't usually go on to uh, sledge or be in people's face while we are playing. I mean, right now we've started a little bit uh, because we have got a very aggressive captain. <laughs> yeah. So, so we do that a little bit, but again, I mean, it's 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 fun. It's it's just a banter. It's nothing personal. Everyone knows that, and I hope everyone knows that it's not. It's nothing personal. It's just, you know, just of to course. bring a bit of a laughter in the game, and you know, try and keep the environment a little relaxed. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. No, yeah. I, I mean, I get, I completely get it, and uh, it it's definitely changed the dynamic. I I found it harder actually playing against those guys because. Um, you want to you you want to make sure that after the game they can't send you a message or speak to you and say I've got you in my pocket I knocked you over or we beat you you want to you want to always hold hold the upper hand against your mates. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you want you want that competitiveness as well uh, when when you are in when you are in the battle with the opposition. Uh, you want that competitiveness to be yeah. there as well. At the same time, uh, you know, one should know that. We can't cross lines. Yeah, for sure. Have to be within within the rules of the game, and then yeah, everything is fine. Uh, you know, it's, who's it's, the be- who's the best player you've played with? Indian, Mumbai Indians. Who's the best player you've played with? Who would you rank? You would say, you know what? I've learned so much from that dude. He's just great. I mean, I grew up watching Tendulkar. Uh, Sachin yeah, Tendulkar was somebody I grew up watching. Um, I I learned uh, so many things by reading his book, actually, which inspired me to play at the highest level, which yeah. was right at the beginning of uh, when I started playing cricket. Yeah. Uh, the book, the name of the book is The Making of a Cricketer. Yeah. And in that book, his journey is mentioned how through the through all the hardships he's gone through, mm. and uh, never. Ever, it's been so easy for him to be where he is right now. Yeah. Most important thing which which I learned from him is being humble in whatever you do. Yeah. And being disciplined at the same time as well. I mean, after achieving so much, you just try to, you know, you you tend to slip away a little bit, 
but i've never seen that from him so that is something that i try and bring into my uh, journey and my routine as well like you know there is there is uh, sky is the limit there is no end to anything what, what what's what's been your lowest point in your career what's been the lowest point you just got oh my goodness i oh, just yeah. i don't know that what's happened in 2011 world cup when i was not picked i was not part of the 2011 world cup uh, and that was the saddest moment because the world cup was being played in india and mm. the final was at my home ground one mm. day so to yeah. miss out on all that and to sit at home and watch these guys lift the trophy was not easy for me uh, so that was the lowest lowest point for me uh, why weren't you picked oh it's my own uh, performances i was not at my best at that point someone has come to say hi where is she hello say hi sam hi do hi hi hello say hi <laughs> instagram <laughs> star <laughs> <Mwah>. <laughs> She's learning to play cricket. Legend, legend. <laughs> Do you want her to be a cricketer? You want to be a cricketer? Hi. Right now she. Hello. Hi. Hello. Who's that? It's you. Yo. 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 <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. Was it Mother's Day? Was it Mother's Day in India on Sunday? Sorry, what's that? Was it Mother's Day in India on Sunday? No. Not on Sunday. It wasn't on Sunday. No, in the UK it was Mother's Day, on, uh, and uh, obviously for um, yeah, for everybody it was a bit of a damn squib just because of the uh, the situation with everything at the moment. People weren't able to see their mums and that, so it's actually quite. But it's quite nice to be a family unit, isn't it? All under one roof and being able to spend so much yeah, time together. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, that's what I said at the start. I mean, in a way, I want to look at look at this lockdown as a positive uh, way to just bond with my family, stay yeah. indoors, and you know, try and help. Uh, the country uh, whatever they are asking us to do for so yeah i mean how are you as well how are you keeping fit <laughs> it's very hard actually <laughs> you know it i i live in a building which is about uh, 54 floors 54 story building uh so uh, which means they have to shut down all the indoor outdoor activities in the building yeah there was gym which was uh, being used till a while ago but they have stopped that as well oh my goodness uh, so you can't use the gym as well uh, and then oh, yeah, yeah come sit here and then uh, hi 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 okay and then uh, i've been just running up and down in the stairs to do my endurance mama You've been running up fifty-four flights of stairs. Not not fifty-four floors, but yeah, about two three floors up and down. And I've got a little routine uh, which my trainers have sent, so I'm trying to do all of that. A little bit of theraband here and there, uh, balance pad, bosu balls, and all that. Push-ups. Yeah, I mean, whatever I can do indoors. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think my indo- I mean my endurance. She's been keeping a check on my endurance because she makes me run all over the house. So you know, it's, you know, it's crazy, right? So you know these um those uh, Fitbits uh, that people wear to check out their um steps. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. many steps? My son is doing. You know, uh, grown ups, and I mean, I know uh, uh, Sunny Gavaskar. It was so funny when you guys are playing uh, at uh, and we're commentating in the one kitty. It'll get to about ten thirty, eleven o'clock at night, and uh, Sunny is wearing this watch. And you'll see that he's only done about eight thousand steps in the day. So between commentary stints, Sunny is walking up and down the passage to get ten, to get to his ten thousand steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I, I mean, my uh, uh, I've seen a lot of my friends do that as well. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to help the youngsters uh, just do the walking part of it and get ten thousand steps done. Uh, in my in-law, my father-in-law uses that as well. Uh, where did you Where did you get the the um, the nickname the hitman i see hitman's flying all over my screen here at the moment hitman 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 <laughs> jeez i guess it was you know uh, way back in 2013 actually um uh, i was batting and i got a double hundred in that game against australia yeah i remember it. double hundred so uh, uh mr ravi shastri was on air and you know how he talks and uh, the hitman <laughs> Yeah, he said, "Oh, the, he is India's hitman. They call him a hitman of India <laughs> because there was a talk. Uh, there was, the, you know, PD, right? Of course. Yeah. So he's the one who gave me that name. 
And, really? Uh, yeah, because my name ends with hit. Mm -hmm. H I T. And he said, "Ro, you are a hit man, man. You are a hit man." So for he everybody watching, PD PD is the floor manager, and he yeah. works for Star, and he's the little guy that you see running around, basically just. Uh, Uh, making us as commentators work and getting all the interviews right. He's um, he's the, he's the main man. A lot of the cricket lovers who are online right now, they would know who PD is because he's always be he's always seen on the yeah. on the tel on the television. Yeah, he likes to he likes to be seen on the television. Yeah, although it's very difficult to spot him, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, it's uh, very difficult to spot him. It's also very difficult to spot uh, Yuvendra Chahal. I think he's giving you something. Yeah, saying, I mean, he's saying, "Hey," he says, "Rohit, how are you keeping fit?" So he's on you. He he's yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I I'm not uh, surprised. He's a he's an Instagram lover. Is he? There he, he is. KP yeah, KP is my first Test match wicket. Chahal, if <laughs> may, <laughs> I would have closed my eyes betting against you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's watching us. He's watching us. He is. He's he's commenting on the post at the moment. Yeah, he loves his um. He loves his Xbox and everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves his Xbox. I know. No, I not not. He's not a much of a Xbox fan. He's much of a that whatever that game is on the mobile phone. Uh, they play PUBG. It's some shooting game. Really? So you get you get five guys online and you 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 play together. Uh, you you can you can talk. You can talk oh, while so you playing. Oh, see, communicate between each other. Uh, yeah, exactly. If if the guy is sitting in in the other city, I mean, you can talk and you can you can find a way to kill the other person. You know, it's 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 very complicated. I'm not I'm not much of a youngsters uh, mobile game fan. I I love my PlayStation. Yes, I do play PlayStation a lot, but uh, yeah. not much on my phone. Who's who do you think is hating this the most in the Indian team being cooped uh, up? In their room and not being able to move. Who's hating it? I guess people, uh, guys who are single, <laughs> <laughs> they must be dying to go out. <laughs> I see Give all me... these all these guys posting pictures, selfies, and all that. I, I can make out from all that. that these, guys are, these guys are fried. They they want to get out. A bit. A, a the bit. worst worst things worst part is you know they're. The cops sitting under the building, right under the building of all these guys. Really? Yeah, I mean, most of the guys uh, they're sitting. I mean, as soon as they come, see them come down, go up. You can't come down, go up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, I mean, they particularly they're keeping eye on all these uh, naughty boys. There like we go. Chahal. So, Ch so Chahal is actually saying here to him. He's the one. He says twenty days to go. He can't wait to get out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can, I, I cannot even imagine what he'll be going through all these twenty days. Who else? Come on, any, any others? Um, I mean, uh, people who are people actually, you know what? People who live outside Mumbai, they'll be slightly happier because they've like got a space. Big, yeah, space. They, 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 they can yeah. easily. They live in houses, not in apartments. So yeah. they've got garden, they've got pool, and all that. So they can, they can still manage. For me, it's damn tough, difficult, but yeah. you know, I'm keeping up. But uh, you're you're a role model in the country, and I think you're doing it amazingly well to be able to just say to people and broadcast a message. If there's a message that you'd like to give all the Indians now, what would you like to say? I mean, yeah, I would just not just the Indians, but the entire nation, you know, entire uh, world. I mean, it's important for us to be a little disciplined at this point. Uh, you know, there will be the, the, there has been times where people. Um, You know, I've said I want to do something for the country. I'm. I want to do something for the country. This is their time to show that by even this much, they can make a difference by doing this much. So all we are asking is to just stay home and little discipline. I know yes. people still will go out for uh, you know buying groceries and medical yep. services, and you know there are a lot of other people who are working to make mm. sure that grocery stores will be open. So for them as well. You know, just discipline. Social distancing, distancing is very important. Washing yeah. hands, keeping your hygiene nice and clean. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which I see, uh, you know, happening around our country pretty well, right? Brilliant. Now. UK. I hope you know UK is one of my favorite places to visit. I hope uh, you know. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, they it, are, it mate. Was... It's under complete. I, I promise you, it's under complete lockdown. There is nothing going on here at the moment, and uh, they've been. I mean, it's taken a little bit longer than everybody would have expected. They would have expected this place to have gone into lockdown two or three weeks ago, 
but the lockdown is real now. People are, they're not doing anything. I think the, one of the most beautiful things is we live quite nicely outside of London and there's a gorgeous um, f- uh, forest next to us. And you see so many kids walking with their parents and you just, from, from, from the kids perspective, how amazing must it be for them to be having mom and dad at home the whole time, huh? Absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now about my kid. Like, I mean, it's so tough. You know, they, they don't understand why am I kept in the house? Uh, I want to go out, uh, go out and enjoy the garden. But she doesn't know that. So she cries yeah. a lot inside yeah. the house. But we're trying to keep her entertained. Uh, we're mm. trying to do everything we can. Uh, I know it's so tough. I, I can only imagine what the kids uh, must be going through and all that. Along let's talk. Um, let's suffering. Yeah, let's talk quickly about um, uh, your love of conservation, your love of wildlife, your love, your love of rhinos. I mean, I just shot the documentary for National yeah, Geographic. Yeah, I mean, that was that was my last. Uh, that was going to be my uh, last conversation with you. I wanted to ask you about that uh, instead of me answering that. I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah, uh, I was watching it. I, I watched all your uh, Instagram stories, and mm. I, I can't wait for that documentary to come out. Because Kaziranga is the place where I've been looking forward to visit for a long, long, long time now. Yeah. And, you know, the only reason I've not been there is because... Uh, Hectic. Yeah, we get only seven, eight days between between the series yeah. and it's very tough mm. uh, to go there and come back to uh, Bombay and start yeah. doing what I do. Uh, so I was looking forward to, you know, find some time between IPL and, uh, you know, me getting fit so i had about 10 days there but now it's gone i was i was planning to visit at that point but it's gone are you fully are you fully fit now before i, I talk yeah, to you yeah I'm, I'm i'm fully fit yeah i still have to do my fitness testing because nca got shut because of all this yeah uh, so i still have to do my fitness testing which i'll do i guess once uh, uh, the lockdown opens up or yeah. ease out a little bit and then uh, uh, yeah i mean i've been if I had to play a game today, I'll, I'm ready to play a game. Beautiful. I just do the formalities and all that. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, Kaziranga, mate, oh, the thing is in Kaziranga, you got a flight to Guwahati. So we spent a couple of days in Guwahati and uh, we, um, we went to a couple of local schools there to just see how the city kids worked, uh, worked and did, did what they did. And then it's about four and a half hours to five hour drive to Kaziranga. And we stayed yes. um, just on the side of the park. I mean, the conservation effort there, it is the greatest conservation story in Indian history, the, the number of rhinos uh, and the population of rhino there. Honestly, yeah, it is, yeah. you turn left and there's a rhino, turn right, there's a rhino. There's, the population has grown so much that they're now relocating to another national park because uh, oh, the wow. rhino per capita, good. Yeah, good the, news. yeah, the rhino per capita in Kaziranga National Park is, um, is so good. So uh, we, we filmed the whole documentary on the success stories and how the people live in harmony with um, the animals. There's no fence around Kaziranga National Park compared yeah. to yeah. South Africa, where there's 10 foot tall electric fences with monitors right. and cameras and CCTV. Yep. The animals and the humans just live uh, so happily together. And it's, it's, got, it's, it's, it's the most majestic part of the world. I mean, it's beautiful, man. I went walking through rural villages there and speaking to people, seeing people smile, being invited into all the houses, being cooked for. Unbelievable. You have to go. If you're, you, as much as you love animals and you love the rhino, you have to go. It's, it's yeah, incredible. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's my plan to go with my family. In fact, not, not my kid, but uh, I want to take uh, my wife, uh, Ritika, over there and just to, just to experience the whole, uh, mm. uh, whole situation there. Uh, I know it uh, will be an amazing uh, experience for me there. So I, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. 